We've gathered a group of volunteers, ranging in ages from 8 to 71, and are putting them to the test in our first Battle of the Ages contest. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna play a series of sounds, and if you can hear the sound, I want you all to raise your hands up. Your right hand, you're gonna keep it there, all right? For those of you watching at home, feel free to play along. Ready? 8,000 hertz. All right. All of you can hear that first frequency. Now I'm gonna play another sound in another frequency. If you still hear it, keep your hands up. If you can't, bring your hand down. 10,000 hertz. Okay, we seem to have lost our 60 and over crowd. You guys look great though. <laughs> Let's raise the frequency even more. 14,000 hertz. Okay, we lost you, we lost you. You're very fit, I can tell. 16,000 hertz. Okay, at 16,000 hertz, we've lost all of our grown-ups, but we still have our youngest members of the crowd with their hands up. Luke, tell everybody how old you are. Eight. Eight years old. Your fresh ears still can pick up these faint frequencies. I've been cleaning them. <laughs> nice work. Now we're taking it up to 18,000 hertz. You guys ready? 18,000 hertz, we've lost 23 and 19, but the under 18 crowd is intact. 18,000 hertz, that's pretty impressive. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> so, how about you at home? Were you able to pick up that final tone, or were you left listening to the sound of silence? Well, either way, you may have noticed a trend. As this chart shows, the higher the frequency, the younger you typically have to be to hear that sound. So why is that the case, and what does it have to do with your brain? To help answer that, here's Yale University's Brian Scholl. Sounds out in the world are just vibrations in the air. But what we hear is determined by patterns of neurons firing in our brains. So the first step in hearing a sound is to somehow translate an air vibration into an electrical neural signal. This is done by microscopic hair cells in our ears. Different hair cells are activated by different frequencies of vibrations in the air. But as we age, these hair cells start to deteriorate so that we gradually lose the ability to hear these frequencies. What? And who knows, your kids could be using a high-frequency ringtone I'll take that. without you even knowing it. So the first point in our Battle of the Ages goes to the younger brain. But this next game is going to come down to experience, so older brains should have the advantage. 